With Pivot Table Quick Explore, we can filter and drill down in pivot tables and pivot charts without the field list exposed. And this means our users can customize their reports without needing to know how to build a pivot table. Now this feature is available in Excel 2013 onward with data either in an OLAP cube or the Power Pivot data model. Let's take a look. Here's the data I'm going to use. You can see it has a lot of criteria that I can analyze the data by, and that can make building pivot tables a time-consuming task with lots of expanding, collapsing, and filtering. And Quick Explore can also help speed up this process. I'm going to insert a pivot table. Now here I can choose from an external data source if you're connecting to an OLAP cube, or you can choose from data model if it's already in the data model. Mine's still in this Excel table, so I'm going to choose from table range. And I need to add it to the data model. Remember, Quick Explore only works with OLAP cubes or data in the Power Pivot data model. And I'll pop it on a new worksheet. We'll just build a basic pivot table that looks at order quantity by salesperson. Let's give the number of some formatting because if you know me, I do not like unformatted numbers. Now to use Quick Explore, you can select any cell. If Quick Explore is available, the icon pops up. You can click on it and choose a field to drill down to. Alternatively, you can select a field, right click and Quick Explore. This pops up with a list of the fields in your table. You can select the one you want to drill to. I'm going to look at order priority. So select from the list and then click drill to. Now you can see that John has become the filter in cell B1 and the row labels contain order priority. I can continue to drill further down into the data. So for example, here I might want to focus on order priority high. So with it selected, click quick explore. And then let's say I want to look at it by product container and then drill to. Now we have two filter items, salesperson John and order priority high. And the product container is now in the row labels. So now that I've drilled down, you're probably wondering how you drill back up. Well, there's no drill up as such, but you can use the keyboard shortcut control Z to undo the last steps, or you can use the undo icon if it's on your quick access toolbar. So that's pivot tables. Let's take a look at quick explore in pivot charts. I'll insert a bar chart and I'll bring it over here into view. Now normally I would right click these fill buttons and hide them all. But with Quick Explore you actually want to keep them and I'll show you why in a moment. To enable Quick Explore in the chart, select the item in the axis and that will trigger the magnifying glass icon. You can click on that. And let's say, again, I want to look at order priority and I've selected Richard. So we're going to drill to order priority for Richard. Now you can see the filter button up here is showing the filter symbol. If I click on it, you can see Richard is selected, although it's a very pale shade of gray, but Richard is filtered. You can see nothing's changed when I select it in there. And you can use these buttons to undo that drill to status. So we can select everyone again or I could just use Control Z to undo in the chart as well. So far, we've only looked at pivot tables with a single row label, but what happens when you have multiple row or column labels, like this one with the year and the quarter in the row labels? Let's say I want to drill down to order priority for the year 2014. I select 2014, click on the Quick Explore icon, choose order priority and drill to order priority. Now the quarter breakdown has been replaced with the order priority field and the year is in the filter. So when you drill to a field, keep in mind that you're replacing fields rather than adding new fields. Lastly, if you don't want to use Quick Explore and you find the icon popping up all the time annoying, you'll be disappointed to know that you can't turn it off. Okay, that wraps up the Quick Explore tool. Keep in mind that your data needs to be in a hierarchy that supports drilling down. And that means flat hierarchies or hierarchies that don't have data on multiple levels are not supported. Also, you can't drill down on named sets. Well, I hope you found Quick Explore useful. You can download the file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.